Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the best builds to go for or the best build to go for which is either just a strength build or a spirit build here in Peroxide. And we're going to be talking about it in today's video. So without further ado, let's get this video started. But before we start this video, a word from our sponsor first. that's out of the way i would like to inform you guys that we are going to be doing legendary giveaways accessories in my live stream so guys if i do live stream i will be giving away accessories to you guys so don't forget to join and maybe it's a couple of crystals and yeah let's get this video started so basically when we're talking about um the builds there are only a couple of builds that you could choose it's either strength build or spirit build or a hybrid build we're not gonna be talking about hybrid builds because it's a little bit more complicated we're gonna be making a separate video for that now i don't want to cop out and say that it just depends on your playstyle. but to be honest the build you want to go for really just depends on the playstyle you want to do but there is an objective decent winner there is an objectively uh, much better option for you to pick when it comes to deciding your build now it depends really on what ways you have so for example if you're a soul reaper i would recommend you go for a strength build because Soul Reapers don't have that many spammy moves. So for example, Gravity is pretty good for uh, PvP scenarios but not 1v1. So for example, Gravity is pretty good for um, Gladiator tournaments or Strong Foe or um, Time Gates because with Gravity, it's not really that easy to dodge your to dodge your zone but in a 1v1, it's pretty bad. Um, Soul Reaper, in my opinion, is pretty good with Spirit for some stuff like Glacier and all those other stuff. But in my opinion, uh, Soul Reapers are much better for strength builds because Soul Reapers have pretty good M1 combos. Soul Reapers have a lot of uh, M1 combo abilities because uh, Soul, uh, Soul Reapers have the op option to become a Visored. And if you have a Visored, you can uh, do tons of damage. So if you combine your Visored and your Bronca, you can do tons of damage with that. From my testing, I could do 63 damage, M1 damage, yes, yeah, 63 damage with just that. So if you are very smart with your build, um, you can do pretty well with a strength build Soul Reaper. Now, if you are a Vastokar or a Quincy, for example, a Spirit build is probably going to be much better because uh, both Vastokars and Quincy's have a lot of moves that scale with Spirit. Now, what this means is since they have a lot of moves that deal tons of damage that scale with Spirit, they are much better off with Spirit builds because they could spam those moves. And let me tell you right now that a lot of Vastokars spam Seros, uh, they spam Sir Oscarus, Agar Sero, they spam their uh, clan moves like uh, Lara Lil Rampag. Wait, as I said here, so uh, Hollows have like Agar Sero, Hollows have um, uh, Sero Oscarus, they have um, Sero, Grand Ray Sero, Sero Metraleta, um, Lanza Lil Rampag. Now, if you want to be an M1 demon, like I said, like I said already before, previously, that it really just depends mostly on your playstyle. What I'm trying to do right now is generalize things a little bit because if you want to go for an M1D1 playstyle, then Strength Build is obviously the, 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 the build to go for. But in general, if you're a Soul Reaper, you're probably better off with Strength Build unless you have uh, Glacier or those other uh, moves that scale with, uh, with Spirit. But in general, for Soul Reapers, Strength Build is better. Basso Cars and Quincy Spirit builds are better. Now, that's gonna be it. Now, like I said previously, it really just depends a lot on your playstyle. So, if you really wanna go for a M1 Demon type build, then go for strength builds. What I do recommend though is trying to balance out your strength and vitality. The perfect balance for me is this much because I have accessories that uh, make me take um, less vitality, make me like reduce my vitality. So for me, this is the perfect one. But for you, you could have more strength, less vitality, and so on and so forth. But yeah, like I said, it really just depends on your playstyle. Every single thing on this game is good. It does take a little bit of skill to get better. But if you are pretty good at the game, you can be, uh, you can make do with any build. Like there, you really can make do with any build. Now, for which is the better race? There is a very, very obvious, much better race, and I will talk about this in a different video. But for now, this is just a better best build video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And peace out, everybody.